So I'm like not far at all into the Weatherford Trail. But that's a new kind of lizard. I haven't seen one. Jeez. Oh, Turns out my backpack makes me really top heavy. So I anticipate. Look how cute this little guy is. Actually, buddy, we're gonna put you down. Right there. He's so small. I love these little lizards. They're awesome. I've taken a little bit of video and some pictures um, for this, but as a formal introduction to my future self, I am currently hiking the Weatherford Trail uh, just north of Flagstaff, Arizona. I've got way too big of a backpack, um, which this hike is supposed to be kind of an experiment to see what I need and what I don't before I go and do a bunch of 14ers in Colorado in a couple weeks. So as it turns out, even the big ones are really easy to catch. Well, it's as big as a relative term. But they're like super docile and just look annoyed with me once I catch them. They don't really do anything to try and escape. But look how fat it is. Hey buddy. After having spent the last six weeks in the 115 degree heat and blazing sun of Phoenix, it feels so good to be in a genuine forest in the shade when it's only like 80 degrees. So a good opportunity here to temporarily shed the pack it's the uh, registration area. So I donated a page from the moleskin and registered myself to enter the uh, alpine summiting area. So So it ain't much, but I came from down there. In the morning, I'll go up there, and my camping spot is here. So it's a bit messy at the campsite because I um, <clears throat> had to tear my entire pack apart to get my sleeping bag, which was very poor planning on my part. But down this way, is right over behind my tent. I have really nice access to to an open field area where I can see the sunset, which is really pretty and pink. So it's gotten dark. I completely forgot to video anything for setting up camp, but the tent's back there. And I have made the tiniest, most petite little campfire because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be making a campfire um, here because a lot of Arizona has burn bans. 
but something this small, I definitely have all the water I need to put out, and it's cute and fun. So, there we go. So it's 3.12 a.m. Um, I'm getting dressed, and I'm uh, going to have a bit of breakfast before starting to head up the mountain by flashlight. So I'm reusing my soup can from last night to boil some water for coffee. And uh, then I've got my day pack packed. I can just throw that back in the tent to retrieve on my way down the mountain. So we're coming up on five o'clock in the morning. Um, I really stopped needing my flashlight around 4.30 because the moon is so bright up there. It's beautiful, the sunrise. Um, so, coming up to start switchbacking um, up the last bit to the actual Humphreys Trail. And I just thought it was neat that all around me I believe, are bristlecone pine trees. Apparently the oldest trees up here, um, from what the sign was saying, have been dated back to the 400s AD. There are trees here that are over 1500 years old. That's so cool. So I've just arrived at the Fremont Saddle, um, and I believe that is Humphreys right up in front of me there. Doesn't look so big when it's uh, being viewed from 11,300 feet instead of 8,000. But a uh, very nice section up here and camping is allowed again starting at the Fremont Saddle. Coming up on uh, 6 a.m. here soon, so we'll see. 1,300 feet to gain yet, and uh, an hour and 15 minutes to stay within my 7 a.m. summit goal. So that's looking back down the trail, and the wonderful view out there. So I stand corrected from earlier when I said that I thought I could see Humphreys from uh, the Fremont Saddle. That was actually a mountain, which I'm going to botch the pronunciation of, but I think it's Agassiz. Uh, it's behind me there. Um, there was a better view of it earlier. But it is the second tallest mountain in the state of Arizona, and it is actually sacred to one of the Native American tribes around here. So it's illegal to summit. But I'm going to make another guess, which hopefully is not wrong, and I think that double point up there is Humphreys, but we shall see. So as best I can tell, the trail leads down to that little saddle right there, and then starts heading up along the ridge line to the summit. hear some other people talking, but I can't tell if it's folks up on the trail or people down at the ski resort 
because I've definitely been hearing noise coming up from down there. That uh, ridge line right there is my last real bit of climbing up to the summit. Got a pretty spectacular view from up here. Uh, voices that I heard were two trail runners who were hiking this uh, really steep scree -y part. It's a pretty good trail here, but it's worse back there. Um, but yeah, they said that I, quote, don't have far to go. starting to get a little bit windier, but honestly hasn't been bad for the top of a mountain. Um, you can see the sign or the marker up at the summit from here, and should be just a couple switchbacks there, and I'll be at the top. My uh, packets of tuna are sounding real good right now. Here we are. Humphreys Peak, 12,633 feet. Arizona State High Point. I'm gonna hang out here for a bit, see if I can't find a summit register and uh, grab a snack before I start heading back down. Found the summit log. It's a bit of a mess, but I found a scrap of paper to sign. So we'll close that back up. And it is snack time. So I just realized, super cool. So out there, that top ridge line there is actually the north rim of the Grand Canyon. I was not expecting to be able to see the Grand Canyon from up here, but it's really only about 30 miles away. Um, and I mean, I'm at the state high point. So that is so cool. Grand Canyon out there is so cool. All right, so I've uh, recovered a little bit up here. Um, time to don my pack and head 